my latest video. In today's video we're gonna learn how to play Diablo for your PC. The latest version, the most updated version and also uh, with the DLC Hellfire and also um, completely compatible with modern versions of Windows. You can see that I'm using Windows 10 so um, and also it's gonna be able to uh, use uh, LAN with modern protocols. So um, basically I don't have to teach you anything really because I already made a pack uh, so but I'm gonna teach you how, how I'm gonna tell you what I did in order to have this pack. Uh, you can download this package in my website if you go to grabsubnet.com and refer to the forum, register as always and go to the game threats, gaming hack threats and there you'll find the package to download. So basically, uh, once you download the folder, you'll have something like this. These two folders here in Hellfire, you'll just have to, um, the Hellfire game, which is kind of an expansion for the original Diablo game. You can execute the game for uh, with whatever of these two executables. And um, also, if you want to play regular Diablo, we're going to just search by type you can execute it with Diablo executable or DRT no CD executable. Uh, they will work anyways. So um, also I have included a, a little mod that is pretty popular that it's called Belzebub which is uh, essentially a Diablo game but in high definition. So it's the same game but in high definition. The bad thing about this Belzebub game is that it doesn't really have any multiplayer. And then we have a little uh, mod as well, which is called Diablo the Awakening, which is, um, you will be able to execute it not from Awake, but from the this folder inside game. You can execute the game from Awake and no CD, and the game is going to work. So, um, basically, the good thing about this package is that it's not only a portable version of Diablo, you don't have to install anything, just download the folder and execute the executables in order to play the game, but it also... Um, has the I already fixed the LAN so uh, we're gonna execute the game again I'm gonna show you um, just that we're gonna execute the game the colors will work perfectly fine keep in mind that uh, this is a pretty old game it from it's from 1996 97 so um, the graphics the, the resolution is uh, pretty low um, you can see here that it's the latest version of Diablo 1 which is 1.07 and we go to multiplayer you'll see that regular Diablo release the original release uh, just had these three first multiplayer options which are no a no-go for modern computers um, because th this is um, the original Diablo came with a local area network IPX protocol which is not compatible with modern Windows on PCs so the good thing about my package is that I personally added local area network UDP protocol, which is um, the protocol that I was using in the intro of the video. Um, I was playing in, two, in my two computers in local area network. So in order to make a LAN, just go to select this option. Uh, obviously create your hero. I already made a hero name SS. And then you just have to create the, the game. So now we are creating the LAN, and if we join with another computer, we will be able to do it uh, very easily. Um, keep in mind that the first time you use the game, you'll have to open your ports first in your router. And also, um, you have to keep Diablo the first time you create it, and you're probably going to be greeted with uh, an open forwarding, you know, the classic Windows um, open forwarding uh, ports uh, window. So once you open it, and once you allow it, um, the second time you play Diablo, you will be able to connect to the other computer. So this is basically a pretty neat package. Um, it's very rare because in most 90% of the tutorials you'll find in, in YouTube or, you know, in, in Google, they're gonna tell you to use the IPX wrapper, which I personally tried, but it quite didn't work. So um, basically, this is a cool package. You can play it. You can play Diablo in modern in modern operating systems. In my case, I'm using um, Windows 10, 
So I hope you like it, uh, and uh, see you next time. Bye. Now, guys, uh, to finish up the video, we're going to show you a little demonstration on how to, how to uh, connect each other. Uh, remember, the first time you, you open Diablo, uh, the LAN, uh, you'll have to minimize the game or close the game and allow the, the, the port to be opened. So, obviously, you'll have to have your router ports opened. I highly suggest you to open a wide range of ports so you can forget about opening ports in the near future. Just open a port from 10 to, I don't know, 60,000. And once you do that, you will be able to create. So, we're going to go here in this computer. This is going to be the computer creating the server, and this is going to be the client. So, we're going to go here and open Diablo Folger. We're going to be executing Diablo. Um, I'm going to show you that compatibility, it, nothing is enabled, so you don't have to enable anything. We are running Windows 10, and then we're going to execute Diablo. Just wait a couple of seconds until the resolution gets uh, fixed, and here we are waiting. We're going to create a multiplayer session. We're going to multiplayer, local area network, UDP. Select our hero and create the game, select the difficulty of the game, and there you will have your LAN working. So we're going to walk a little bit here, and then we're going to select the other computer. We're going to go into uh, opening the game itself. We're going to go to Diablo. We're going to open Diablo Executable as well. And um, we're going to wait until the game fires up. We're going to go to multiplayer, we're going to go to local art network UDP protocol. We're going to select our new hero here and here you'll see that the session this session is from this computer. So we're going to select the session and we're going to type in OK. We're going to wait until we are connected and voila, we're connected successfully. So you can see both warriors there playing perfectly well. So, I hope you like this video tutorial, see you next time, probably next video is going to be about Diablo 2, and, and, and later I'm going to make a video about Diablo 3, which is going to be pretty cool. So, bye, and see you next time.